following game is rated M for mature. Parents should be aware this game contains blood, graphic language, and graphic violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, members of the Pride, and welcome to a brand new series, Quantum Break. This is supposed to be a storytelling type of game, uh, very action-packed. Um, I, I don't really know a lot about it. Um, I've been, it's been recommended to me by a few different people, as a matter of fact. Um, and I, I, all I know about it is that apparently somehow time has gotten broken. And in, in its breaking, the character that I'm playing is, uh, has somehow been in, in, imbued with superpowers, like time manipulating powers. And that's about all I know about it. Um, it, it's, it apparently got a lot of rave reviews when it first came out. It's, it's a, it's a somewhat older game, uh, not super old, uh, like maybe about three years old. Um, but I, I never got a chance to play it. And actually I hadn't even heard very much about it at all other than it was a time game. Uh, so I never really got into it much. Um, <clears throat> but without further ado, let me hit my, uh, my, my alarm real quick. Make sure I don't go over, uh, go over time. And let's get started. Press enter to play. New game. Uh, okay, so, yep. And then I guess we'll just go ahead and keep it on normal. I, I'm no uber gamer. I ain't gonna pretend. Riverport University Experiment. Quantum Break Insights. Find hidden quantum ripples to unlock secret content in the show. Search your surroundings for secret content. Okay. The number one killer is time. The number one killer is time. That's true enough. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. Beginning is always good. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Being an Uber driver, I could completely relate. Riverport <laughs> University. Here we are. Of course, hey. I don't usually, I'm not usually Thanks that rude, rap. but, you No know. problem. Oh, uh, am I playing now? Okay. <clears throat> You'd been away uh, for six years. So moving. Paul and I had kept in touch, so but... Typical... Will... Not so much. What was the type movement? Okay. I was just happy to see Paul. Can I can I back out? Is it all so close? Good yeah. morning. Hi. Uh what was that? Like I see a red dot in the distance there. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I see a little indicator over here. Can I talk to you? <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for, um, I, it's just whatever's done doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, um, yeah. I guess I should go find Paul. M maybe. Okay, there's the indicator over here. Hmm. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Uh, physics building. None of these say the physics building. <laughs> uh, so I am here. 
I have no idea where you are. Uh, oh, narrative objects. Locate narrative objects to immerse yourself deeper in Quantum Break story. You can review previous I doubt he's collected out here. Uh, narrative the objects. Canvas. Aside the times. Okay. So, close. Okay, so... Wow, 16. Okay, so I'm looking for narrative objects. I guess this is one of those you have to look around for every little hidden detail. So... Wow, the, the game is a little twitchy uh, in terms of, like, moving. I'm going to have to get, get used to that. Uh, all right. Hey, you! Take action now! Oh, Jack. Oh. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Okay. Uh, Monarch Studios wants to tear down the pride of Riverport University, the beautiful and historic library building generations have studied in. Uh, this is part of our heritage, but they don't care. Are you going to put up with that? Of course you aren't! Are you going to take action? Of course you are! <laughs> Already, I am reminded of a photo album! <laughs> First of all, go online, you save the library, and get loud. There's only, uh, the only way they'll stop is, they'll stop is if they look bad enough doing it. Second, join our protest uh, at the university on October 8th. Okay, so, all right, um, so let me, is there a, yeah, I'm going to go to options. Let, do they have like a, um, okay, good, they have the tutorial on, because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I, do they have... Uh, maybe audio dialogue. Oh yeah, definitely disable copyright music. Uh, <laughs> that 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 would be bad. Okay, uh, and low low dynamic. If you no, I'm 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 alright for that. Uh, no, I want um, I want subtitles. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. That way you guys can read, because I was, it was, I could kind of follow along what they were saying, but it was a little light, so it's kind of hard to tell for sure. Um, is there a way to maybe increase? Ah, see, now, that is what I, my actual display is. Hopefully that will improve what you guys are seeing. Uh, lock to 30 FPS, can I do better? For a smoother, on older hardware, nah, I don't need, I, I don't have older hardware. Uh, brightness? Adjust the brightness until the logo becomes invisible and the logo on the right is barely... I don't see anything at all. Uh, do I have to... Oh. There... Oh, there we go. Wow. Uh, okay, maybe... Let's let's do that because that's, that's awfully... That's really kind of hard to see. Uh, okay, so obviously I did not do any pre preparation for this. Um, so, uh, let's... Oh. There's another thing to see. I wish there were a sprint option here. Oh, can I? Oh, here you go. <laughs> That's vaguely ominous. Okay. Uh, I wish there were a sprint option here somewhere. Do I see more narrative things somewhere? Can I talk to you? Yes, I can. I want to like a sprint option. <laughs> Some protest. <laughs> Apparently, uh, the idea, some people's idea of a protest is go and, and get smashed out of your gourd. Uh, wow, kind of a, it's a, a beautiful building. Ah, doggone it. My, my timer's falling apart. Can I, can I jump? I don't appear to be able to jump. Um, oh, there's somebody to talk to. Hold. <laughs> All right, definitely a slower-paced game. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Uh, okay. Well, you know, rudeness not hey, required. Can we go home yet? Hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, got more narrative. 
Stop Monarch Problems. For years, Monarch Solutions has been buying out Riverport piece by piece, steamrolling over small businesses and local culture to establish corporate dominance. October 9th, they intended to demolish... <sighs> okay, I'm going to speed read this. If you guys need to... Uh, there's a lot of... Obviously, a lot of reading to this, so I'm going to end up speed reading through this uh, rather than read every little word. Uh, if you guys want to pause the video and read this for yourself, by all means, I'm just going to speed read through these things. Um... Okay. Yeah. Note this is a non-alcoholic event. <laughs> obviously. Uh, obviously that was a non-alcoholic event. Yeah, there's a narrative. Okay, there's another one. Okay, so there are narrative things around here. You just have to look for them. Uh, guest seminar, Sophia Amaral. Okay, Sophia Amaral. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh... Do I see any more narrative stuff? Um, uh, I want to I, I want to catch all the narrative stuff so that I can get like a full picture. Um, oh, there's some more stuff. Oh, and there's some more stuff. Come on, Amy, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Hey, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? Burning the midnight oil? Just waking up? Or are you getting ready for bed? Or maybe you're asleep. I wouldn't blame you. Not a lot going down in downtown tonight. Now, unless you're at the Riverport University campus, where the protest against Monarch Solutions is still going on. You see, Monarch wants to knock down the old campus library and put up a brand new building. Protesters are saying that building's a part of our heritage, and we don't need Monarch gobbling up yet another bit of Riverport. Personally, I'm with the activists on this one. I'm sure Monarch's new building would be big and shiny, but well, come on, who gives a shit? Okay, I, I've had enough of that. <laughs> Protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. Okay, uh, doesn't look like we can go in there. Uh, well, okay. Looks like we get to talk to her. Cutscene. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Who the hell runs a protest at 4 a.m. on a college campus? I mean, honestly, who who is this? Are are you? I, I don't I don't understand you at all. Well, oh well, I guess there are people here, but I mean, all right, that just seems on, strange. Yeah. Okay, how would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? I would say uh, that's, that's quite overly over. graphic Good. and overly dramatic. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Okay, so you want to save the library, but you graffitiized it by spray painting well, it? Check out the chart. I mean, look at that. They spray painted the, the library. That's not a banner. They spray painted the library. Are you interested? Uh, apparently, you they just lurking around. Yeah, shut up, lady. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> talk about misguided, uh, mis uh, uh, misplaced uh, mm -hmm. aggression. I mean, uh, give me a break. It's like we we need to save it, so we're going to save it by destroying it, huh? This is the kind of like stupid protest that we see in modern times. It's just, it doesn't make any any sense whatsoever. It's like, let's save it by destroying it. What a great idea. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but keep fighting this okay all right enjoy your booty call <laughs> not exactly 
Uh, not, oh, there we go. So she thinks... She, well, I mean, okay, to be fair, college campus at 4 a.m. and you're meeting a friend? I, I can understand why she might think booty call. <laughs> It's not a lake. It's an ocean. <laughs> He's been gone for five years. Dark matter and dark energy constitute over 95% of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. Wait a minute, I think I've seen this. Isn't this like a, isn't this like a television show or like a brief, like a, a show that tried to, tried to get Every popular and didn't make it or something? These are important. Can I, uh, it doesn't look like I can go upstairs or anything. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to follow him. I'm not doing what the game wants me to do. I'm a, I'm a bad boy. Can I, can I peek in these? Can I, can I, can I get a soda? Can, oh, wait, wait, is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. Uh, ah, here, but this is a thing. Ah, mm -hmm. here's a couple of different things. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. Interesting. So. Protests against Monarch are going strong, I see. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you didn't join in. I thought that kind of trouble was your forte. Well, it used to be our forte. You're the one that sold out. Oh, I don't know. Rich and successful isn't too bad. You should give it a try. <laughs> okay, so they're kind of setting this guy up as the, like, uncaring, super rich kind of guy who... There's ends more up getting more power than he can about handle. Is that what we're doing? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man, look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? Probably because there's a long-winded. Never. <laughs> there's a long-winded oh, presentation look. on the horizon. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Uh, n no. I want to listen to the presentation. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. <laughs> Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well... If you insist. Progress. Time. The Our final primary frontier. drive is a species. I thought it was space. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element <laughs> which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Hmm. Okay, so they've... All right, let's do this. They've kind of broken it down to the so point this is about of... Quantum uh, physics. Yeah. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. What am I supposed to be looking at the here? The city changed. Paul changed. Didn't feel right being back. It was your hometown. It, 
Then who's this back here? Somebody's trying to sleep. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm bored already. <laughs> I'm sure it, it's very fascinating Paul and I stuff, get but for success. Uh... Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Okay, so he's saying that this guy is some sort of corporate secure, some kind of security Come guy, but he's along. not dressed in a uniform. Huh. You know what that tells me? Uh, as a as a, a, a as a as a soldier myself, guy's private security, like um, like corporate security. Uh, I don't see anything. Is this like something I can go through? I don't say. I think this is a that's glass. Oh, for a sprint button. This is like kind of slow. Doing this slow jogging. <laughs> I, I see another thing. More show show me more narrative stuff. Hmm. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Okay, we're trying to Oh. Okay, so this Paul Serene guy is apparently heading heading up the, the project, but he's not actually a scientist himself. Okay. And this Henry, uh, Dr. Kim is apparently the guy who actually was the brains behind it. We've got nine, nine narrative objects so far, but I didn't see anything else to see out here. So e either I, either it's there and I just missed just it, or I don't know. Project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Okay. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. At the very beginning of this, didn't they say that, this like, way. he was the bad guy? We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but... He was difficult. Uh, I'm just... I'm looking around to see if there's any other narrative things. Ah, like this. Incident? Jesus, Will. What'd you do this time? Just as a... Yo, Paul. You think you got enough space here? Well, you know, us business types need somewhere to practice our putting. Okay. Interesting. Uh, in, yeah, there's another... Okay, so I got another narrative object. We gotta stay on top of the narrative objects. These are... In six years, you never felt any desire to return? There was always more keeping me away. Alright. Continuing to find the narrative stuff. Hey, don't mind me. You go ahead and go in there. I'm gonna keep looking for narrative stuff. Uh... <laughs> Uh oh, dramatic music. I, I think I should be over there. Hold on. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, 
shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Not seeing any... Well, okay, no, I see a thing up here. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. She is cute. Uh, okay, Mer, we got Okay, so apparently this this Dr. Will Joyce, um, he, he 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 came across some stuff during his his uh, Jack, come on dur during his his thing here, and he got concerned and is basically attempting to shut it down. So what? You're you 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 want to go forward with this? Is that why we're Jack, here? You know, asking for help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble you see the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal you're the only one I can trust to help me with this whatever Will did I want to make it right I love my older brother but he didn't make it easy it's already essentially set up anyone can do it but you're the one I want to do this with Jack thank you I knew I could count on you so I guess I am a bit of a not I, I guess a, a a guy who's willing to help, but I'm I'm in it to help my brother, but at the same time I'm a bit of a troublemaker. Okay, uh, from Jack to so this was the the email apparently that we were uh, sent to each other. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm reading it backwards, aren't I? <laughs> uh, in, in timeline, it sh I should have read this from the bottom. There's a lot going on here. Uh, okay, so this is basically just a, a, the email 15. Oh, and there's number 16. Hey, we got all the narrative objects. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. <laughs> yes. Years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll act like a core. I'm gonna what? run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. What lever? Uh, oh, there we go. All right. Oh, uh, press W to activate core. Okay. Oh, oh, I have to hold it down. We need to keep pushing forward, Jack. <laughs> oh. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Okay. Not ominous at all. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? It's stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so. Activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. 
I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. Oh. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool. Oh, that's the thing. But I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. What is it that... Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Okay. Uh, press... But can I... Hello? Can I... Oh, there we go. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. <laughs> Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. Wow. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Uh, okay. Well, um, I guess this makes it a, a good time to, to go ahead and end the first episode. Um... So it looks like we're actually, I mean, it, it's not just like oogie boogie time superpowers where, uh, you know, we're, we're dealing with the matter of, um, of like some guy who gets blasted with gamma radiation or whatever, and suddenly he has like superpowers to be able to bounce back and forth, uh, through time. I guess this is actual, like we're, we're, we're dealing with actual time. I guess this is how he's going to get his superpowers. I don't know. Um, looks like he's going to be get sent two minutes to the past. So this is interesting. Um, so far, it's an intriguing game. I'm kind of getting into it. But in any case, guys, that's going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below. You guys are absolutely fabulous fabulous fans and i truly appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for watching and as always everyone always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars but it takes someone special to be a lion that squeaks so embrace your inner lion and squeak on the switch and it's ready to go all right paul mr impatient jeez it's almost like he's a bad guy or something